80 degrees in Tampa, 81 in St. Petersburg, a lot of mid to upper 70s. How about that rain yesterday out at the airport? 2.65 inches of rain. Boy, I was sitting there watching the sea breezes doing their little collision, and we got some rain, but that drier air definitely limited how much everybody got with the lion's share being right over the airport in Tampa. 81 in St. Pete, 77 in uh, Sarasota, 80 degrees in Naples. Our winds are all over the place. They're, they're north, they're west, they're south. And so we're in a transition to go back to that what we call onshore wind flow pattern. And you're really, I believe you'll really feel that um, on Sunday as those winds shift to the southwest. No heat advisories around. Uh, the closest is up around Pensacola, but look at the heat in the south. My goodness. Excessive heat warnings for New Orleans, going back to Lafayette, up to Shreveport, to Dallas, east of Oklahoma City. Boy, the south and the plains, southern plains, are just incredibly hot. This is the reason not everybody got rain yesterday, this map. We can blame this one dry dry this is about 10,000 feet up 10 to 15,000 feet and uh, about 10 to 15,000 feet we got a wind out of the north so what that's been doing is kind of dragging in this drier air so as these thunderstorms begin to develop even with a sea breeze collision not all of them make it through this drier air they get pushed back down again so that has been and will continue to be today kind of our limiting factor. So here's five o'clock. We'll have a few thunderstorms, but nowhere near as many as we would typically have. Your eyes are drawn up toward I-10 with this rain and thunderstorm activity by later this afternoon. Watch what happens with this as it drifts southward into our mid-level dry air. A lot of it falls apart. Maybe tonight we get a few thunderstorms, but again, it's a struggle. So 30 to 40% the rain chance today. I got a 40% rain chance tomorrow and by Sunday with that onshore wind flow, we're gonna begin to kind of push everything toward the East Coast. So rainfall for the next three days, we're in the green shaded area. You go on the scale and it's way, way, way down near zero. So not much is expected in Central Florida over the next few days. Now you look at the tropics, look at all this dust coming off the coast of Africa. This is really holding back our season right now, which is completely fine. But over the next maybe two weeks or so, we expect a bunch of this dust to go bye-bye. And that may start the tropical, or at least these waves moving across the Atlantic. But I can tell you over the next week or so, nothing should develop, nothing expected to develop. So we'll keep things quiet there. We're going to go up to about 94 degrees today. We hit 94 yesterday. I think we do it again today. The heat index about 102, 103, but 30 to 40 percent chance of rain. That's it. Typically, it'd be closer to 60 to 70 percent. Warm and soupy tonight with a low of 79, but then tomorrow, same thing. Tons of heat and humidity with just a few storms and tomorrow's high around 93 degrees. I do have a light chop all weekend long for boaters but keep in mind by sunday we have uh, the winds coming back in from the west and the southwest so after today's 30 to 40 percent rain chance 40 percent tomorrow then 40 to 50 percent on sunday highs mainly in the lower 90s at least